G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at Archbang. So let's check out Archbang. So this is the Archbang website. Um, SourceForge, there is another Archbang here, Live ISO. Um, with i3 I think it's said, i3 tiling. Uh, but this one here has some other releases here, i3, uh, RC, beta. So what I've downloaded is the uh, Archbang beta 2510, 64-bit. So let's check that out. So let's get started on Archbang. Archbang is um, 853 megabytes in size, this is the one I've downloaded. So Archbang Linux open box, let's start that up. Connection established. All right, so um, I cannot get a full screen on this one, so we're going to have to go with just install Archbang at this point. Number one partition scheme. Number one default. Number two CG disk. Um, Enter your option, number one. Non-GPT or damage disk detected. This program will attempt to convert to GPT or form or repair damaged GPT data structures. Okay, I'm not sure what that was all about, so we'll try new. So Linux file system 20 gig. Uh, let's write that. Are you sure you want to write the partition? Yes. And quit that. All data on the root and swap partition will be lost. Number one. Confirm format. Yes. XT4 number four. Okay, I think I've partitioned that correctly. It's been a while since I've done that. Number two, install Archbang. Okay, number three, host name. Uh, yeah, we'll call it Archbang. Time zone number four. Six Australia. 11 Perth, yes, hardware clock, locale, number 6, got to scroll up for this one, um, English, Australia, 79, yes, confirm that. Desktop keyboard layout, not sure about that. I might skip that. Number eight, bootloader. Uh, Grub two, number one. Automatic, number one. Enter to continue, root password. Um, I might skip that for now, just go number 10. Enter the new username. Colin. Type the password for the new user. Retype. Press enter to confirm and that's done. D for done. Reboot system, yes. Hopefully that uh, will take out the device. 
Always a stop job for Arch. <laughs> Always. Okay, let's start that up. Username and password. And there we go. So that was a very simple partition creation I did there. I'm not even sure if I did it correctly. I was sort of rushing through that one. Um, but I cannot get full screen. Uh, applications, accessories, internet. So here we are on the desktop of ArchBang. Managed... Um, restarted and it's actually full screen so I didn't do anything to do that uh, on the first boot it wouldn't go to full screen um, and after some time booting again I've managed to get full screen so pretty happy with that so this is Archbang one thing I'd like to note here is Archbang was an 853 megabyte download we are trying to download a complete system under 900 megabytes and if we have a look here we have a terminal we do have a browser help and about netsurf so that's the browser you have there and applications netsurf we've got there and regarding applications there is not much there at all and being 853 megabytes um, sure I'm sure a user would probably want probably Firefox or Brave or Chromium even Chrome uh, which will any one of those will take you over the 900 megabytes straight away and this desktop here does not have a lot as far as applications are concerned. So it's a fairly big download and not much in here. So I don't know why the download's so big. So we'll just quickly go through it. Um, accessories. It looks like you've got leaf pad. It's an unusual way of spelling leaf pad. I don't know why they've spelt it that way. Compton and Pecorn or Pycorn. What's that? Pycom? Pycom. Not sure what that is. Uh, a couple of servers there. Net, NetSurf web browser. Advanced network configuration. Customize look and feel. So you have got some customizations there, not much. And you probably can install some, but you'd have to download them as well. Desktop preferences. Desktop manager is not active. Okay. Open box configuration. So there's your open box configuration there. You've got a few choices there. Open box choices for themes. You can uh, move quite a few things around there. Now I can see this being not a bad distro. However, putting into consideration that we're looking at getting something complete under 900 megabytes. Yeah, this is really... Um, this is probably not appropriate for what I'm looking for regarding lightweight distros under 900 megabytes. You've got Gparted, HTOP, Alex Terminal, Tint2 and Conky, so HTOP. So 148 megabytes of memory it's using, so that's pretty good. Just not application complete, that's the problem I see with this one here. So you do have a shortcut to NetSurf. And terminal, probably Alex term, I would say. Little calendar there, sound. Um, scroll the mouse wheel for your sound adjustment. And internet there. And a little conky up in the top right corner with some shortcut. K 
key combinations. So that was Archbang. Not quite application complete, really, Archbang, considering an 853 megabyte download. So keeping in mind, um, there's nothing wrong with these distros at all. It just doesn't fall in line with what I'm chasing as far as this uh, lightweight distro series concerned. So that was Archbang. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.